Adobe Express has a free and easy video creation tool that is loaded with features and content. To begin, go to new.express.adobe.com or just Google Adobe Express. Click sign in and sign in with your Google account. Jeffco pays for Adobe Express upgrades, so make sure to choose the company or school account option. This dashboard page is where you will see just a few of the templates available for a variety of projects. And more importantly, it's where you will come to access any of your existing projects. Click the plus and choose video to start from scratch. You can also visit the video tab to see various format options that are available. For most school projects, choose YouTube or the standard dimensions, but there are a nice variety of social media options here too. I'll stick with the standard video dimensions. Once you get to the editor, enter a title for your video so it's very easy to find later. There are a bunch of templates on this tab that you can use, which are great, but sometimes changing a template is a little bit more work than it's worth, so I'm going to start from scratch for mine. If you are creating this video with a partner, you can click the invite button and enter your partner's name to send them an email invitation, and they do need to accept that invitation before they're going to be able to edit the project with you. You'll be building your video as a series of scenes. For my first scene, I'll start with a picture and then I'll show you how to add in some video. Let's go to the media tab. Adobe has a bunch of images and videos that you can search for and use right here. If you find one you like, you just click on it to add it to your video. I'm going to undo adding this picture because I actually want to include a picture of my own dog for this first part of the video. To add your own media, click the Upload from Device option, browse for, and select it. Once added, you'll be able to resize it. And if you double click on it, you'll be able to crop it or add a variety of shape masks to the image. On the Elements tab, you'll find Shapes, Backgrounds, and many other design assets that you can use to add visual appeal to your scene. You can browse or search these elements by keyword. And every time you add in a new item, it becomes a different layer. Over here are the layers in order from top to bottom, and you can easily rearrange the layers by dragging and dropping them in this layers panel. If you want to lock an item in place in your scene so that you don't accidentally keep clicking on it and moving it around, just click on it once to select it, and then choose this lock icon here. Let's go to the text panel. You can click right here to type and add text. And apply some pretty cool text effects. There's also a ton of pre-made text elements that are really nicely designed. You can select one, and then all of these pre-made items can be easily edited. Just click on the part that you want to change and use the options that appear to make your adjustments. You can also animate different elements in your scene so they come in at different times. To do that, you need to slide the show layer timing to on. Then just click on the different elements or layers in your scene and use the sliders to adjust when they come in and leave the scene. This is your playhead. Move it to the beginning of your scene and click play to preview. Many school projects require you to narrate them. If you want to add your narration to a slide, click on the media tab, then audio, and then record voiceover. You'll be prompted to allow access to your microphone and then you can start recording. I recorded six seconds of talking here about my dog, but her picture is only on the screen or in the scene for five seconds. I could add another short scene here, or I can just click and drag on the existing scene so that it times up perfectly with my voiceover. Now I'm ready for the next scene in my video. If Adobe didn't already have a slot for it right here, I could just click the plus add scene button to add one. This time, instead of uploading my own picture or media, I'm going to stick with Adobe stock media. 
I'll visit the media tab, go to the videos area and search for shopping. I'm just looking for something to put in the background while I narrate and this eight second clip of someone walking with shopping bags will work just great. Once you find a video clip, just click and drag it to add it to your video. And with this video here, let's explore some more of the advanced features in Adobe Express. Click on the clip in the preview window to select it. First, I'm going to use the remove background tool. This can take a little bit of processing time and doesn't work for every single video clip, but it does work really well for most of them. And indeed it did work very nicely for this one. I can also use the tools here to speed up or slow down my video clip. And there are other adjustments like volume and transparency or opacity that can be changed here too. Before I explore any video effects, I'm going to use a split tool to split this one video into three separate parts. To do that, I'll move the playhead to where I want my first split to be, then I'll right click and choose split. I'll move the playhead again and repeat that. Now splitting doesn't delete anything from the video. In fact, when I move the playhead over and when I click play, everything still plays very smoothly in the preview window, but splitting is a nice way to isolate maybe a mistake and then you can delete it. Or it also gives you the opportunity to have a spot where you can insert something different in the middle of a clip. I'm going to undo that because what I really wanted to do is just split this into three different parts so I can apply three different video effects. To do that, I'll put my playhead over the first segment and then click the preview window scroll down to effects and I'm going to add one of the duotone effects. Now I'll move my playhead to the next segment in the video to add a different effect. By removing the background, splitting the video clip into parts and adding different effects, I now have a much more interesting visual to use. And also because I removed the background, if I don't want to just stick with plain white, I can visit the elements tab, backgrounds, and search for something that I like. When it's time to add narration, I'll move my playhead back to where the shopping bag clips start. Then I'll go to the media tab, select audio, and then record my voiceover. If my voiceover was longer than the video clips, I can duplicate the last one and trim it up, or I could put in a new video or picture whatever I need until I get things lined up just right. I personally don't like to add transitions between each and every little video clip, but I do use a transition often when I'm changing topics. If you want to add in a transition, just hover between two clips, click the plus and select the transition that you like. One other thing you may choose to do is to add some background music. Again, visit the media tab, then audio. Here you can search by instrument, mood, or you can just browse. There's so many songs. There's a little play button next to each so you can preview it. And when you find one that you like, click and drag it to add it to your timeline. Then select it if it's not already selected and make sure you adjust the volume down if you have any narration in your project or it will drown out your voiceover and you won't be able to hear it very clearly. Definitely use the play button to preview and adjust volume as needed. Adobe is saving as I go. And when you exit and then sign back in later to express to continue editing, you'll find your project on the your stuff tab where you can open it and continue editing. When you're all done editing and ready to share this or turn this in, you can either click the share button and select publish to the web to get a link that you can send to your teacher or you can click download to export your project as a video file that you can then upload to Google Drive, YouTube, Schoology, Google Classroom, or whatever. Those are the basics that you'll need to create a great narrated video with Adobe Creative Express. If you're interested in Creative Express's cool AI features, check out my other video.